Hi guys, my name is Megan with the blog wilsonhomestead.com and today I'm going to do an updated cloth period pad stash. I have used cloth pads for my periods for probably between four and five years. It's been a long time. It was uh, a little after we got married, before I got pregnant with our first daughter. I switched to cloth pads after doing a bunch of research about how toxic disposable pads are and tampons. I've, I have never used tampons, but there's a lot of toxins even in disposable pads. I tried the Diva Cut for a while and it's I found it very uncomfortable. So I discovered cloth pads at that point and I have not looked back since. I've used them for years and years now and some of these I some of these are still my original cloth pads that I've used for almost five years and they're still going strong. I still love all of them. So I'm gonna show you my entire stash and then talk about which ones I like the best. Hopefully this is helpful and let's get right into it. So these are some of my original pads. Um, some of them are dirty, some of them are lost. I think this is a pack of seven it's somewhere around six to eight pads that come in this pack from Amazon. And it's just this charcoal colored kind of fleecy lining. And this is the part that makes contact <laughs> with your vagina. So you put it on your panties and you button this around the panties so that it holds it secure. And these pads are the ones I've used the longest. They are still really absorbent. They haven't seem to wear much at all over these four years. There's no stitching coming loose. There's no rips. I mean, you only use them once a month, but still, that's a lot of years and a lot of washings. <laughs> so I'm very impressed with how long these have lasted. These are the medium flow ones, I think, and these are heavy enough to catch my, my blood from my entire period. So I used to be a lot heavier of a bleeder, but now that my periods have kind of regulated with getting my health better, I don't need to go any bigger than this, unless it's for postpartum bleeding. <laughs> so it's nice to have like a basic pad that you can just use for your entire period and not go bigger or smaller pads. So then these, this set is my next set that I bought. These are heavy flow pads. I bought these when I was pregnant with my first in preparation for postpartum bleeding. <laughs> So these are heavy flow 14 inch pads. It's a, I think this is a pack of eight. Again, some are missing or in the wash. <laughs> it's hard to get all of these clean at the same time. Same with cloth diaper stash videos. I never can have them all clean at the same time. So I think these may be the same brand as the first ones. I'm not totally positive on that, but they seem like a very similar material and stitch pattern and everything. So these have the same charcoal colored liner in and then waterproof backing that wraps around your underwear. So these ones have been really great. I always make sure I have all of them found and washed to get ready for postpartum. These, I have had no leaks postpartum using these ginormous ones. So I really like those. And then the next ones that I got are this company, <clears> Hyo, <throat> sent me all these all these black ones. So these are basically the same concept as these ones. They're pretty much the same size, same material on the inside. The flaps just stay in instead of, you know, that's like basically the only difference and the color. So these ones are a really great basic pad as well. They fit really well. They're, they seem just as absorbent as these ones. The, I think these ones I've had for two years. I think I was I think I had just had Dimmy when this company sent me these pads. So they've lasted really well. There's supposed to be more than four in this set as well. All of these sets I will definitely link out below for you guys so you can check them out for yourselves or if you want to buy any of them. So you don't have to worry about trying to remember the brand names or whatever. I will link them in the order that I talk about them in the description box. Alright, so we have three more brands. The next one is Pixie Cup. So, as you can tell from the name, this company I think started out with the cups. So it's similar to the Diva Cup, but it's called the Pixie Cup. It's basically 
a cuff you insert into your vagina instead of a tampon that catches all the blood. But they came out with the cloth pads and I was really excited because again, I don't like the cuffs. <laughs> but these pads have been really great. They don't seem to fit as well as my other ones. They are, um, you can see these flaps aren't centered in the middle of the pad. They're like up higher. So it tends to kind of ride backwards. They don't, they don't always stay exactly where I put them, but they're really too easy. They're really easy to adjust and it doesn't happen all the time and they are very absorbent. So overall, I do like these a lot. It's just if I have one of these or one of these clean, I'm definitely going to pick this one. So just something to keep in mind, although they're definitely a good option and they're organic, these are organic ones. I'm not sure that these are organic, so that is something that's better about these. I do feel like the material is better. The fit's just not quite as good. Okay, so these are the next ones. These are my newest ones, which I am so excited about. I've wanted to try this brand for so long, and I was able, she actually sent me these, which was so sweet of her, because I was gonna do a updated cloth stash video, so I asked if she would be willing to send me some so I could mention them. I waited for, I waited a month after getting them so I could try them out with my period. So I actually started my period, these were the first pads I used, and then I washed them right away so I could use them again in the same week. So I used these, each of these two times during my last period so that I could give you guys kind of a more accurate idea of if I like them or not. So this is Elspar brand. They also have cloth diapers, which I have a cloth diaper video of theirs coming up soon too, but their prints are like the best. Out of all these pads, these ones have my, my favorite prints for sure. And I, will, I know I've only used them for one period, but so far these have shot to my top two favorite pads. I was super impressed. Impressed with their absorbency, impressed with the material. This material is not the same felt like fleecy material. It's so soft though, and it seems to be continue to get softer with each washing. So this this one isn't as soft anymore. So between the two of these, I would definitely go for this one above even my original favorite ones. They fit really well. They don't ride up or down, which is really important because that can get annoying. The material is really high quality. And again, this color. I mean, I, I just love, like I know the color isn't terribly important, but if it's something that the color makes you happy, then I feel like it is important. So these two are definitely some of my favorites now. So then my last uh, brand of cloth pads is the Glad Rags brand. So I have several different sizes. They're kind of all just in a wad because I grabbed them right out of the washer to do the video. So I've got one big one. So you take these little inserts right here and you kind of, they, they get a little misformed in the, in the dryer, which I don't like. I wish they were just all attached, but you put them inside this flap right here and then they lay inside for more absor absorbency. So there's this medium sized one. Oh, it's got two pads. So there's a large one and then there's two medium sized ones. One's white and one's purple. And then I have two small ones. These ones I honestly never use because my period is just too heavy even right up until the end and I prefer just to use a regular medium sized pad. So these aren't even super necessary, but, but they are nice just in case. And someday, maybe Sophia will need them for her period when, when her period starts in a few years. So out of all of them, the Glad Rags are probably my least favorite just because they're, they come apart. And I thought I would like that because they do wash easier that way and they dry faster but then they're just really annoying to put back together and they don't stay together super well while you're wearing them. But they still are really good um, pads. And they're organic material, so that's a really good thing. So out of all of these pads that I've tried, the my original ones and the Elskbar pads are my two favorite brands. So if you guys are wondering which brands I recommend, those would definitely be the ones but honestly, all of these are really great. I really like the companies. So hopefully that gave you an idea of a few different brands you could try, what I personally like, and everyone's of course gonna be different, so 
some of these ones that I really, really like, you might not like and vice versa. So, but I just hope this was helpful and I know you guys like seeing my cloth pad content and natural period management videos, so I'm excited to do this for you guys. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.